Hi guys, so I'm going to create this video, but I don't think it's fair of me to post it on YouTube just yet. Um, I don't like to pommel any any devs. I don't want to discourage anyone from um, creating games like this, but uh, this game has some serious issues. And uh, I feel if you had to release this as a, a full PS5 game, you're going to have a lot of people asking for refunds and uh, you're going to have rights on your hands. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the things which literally made me put down the controller after about 15 minutes. Firstly, when... Uh, navigating the option screen over here. I don't know why there's such a big blue circle uh, floating around the screen and then when you push the button in then the red line comes out. Take away the blue circle and just have the red line like every other game and uh, the other thing about this tutorial or this option screen is you have the save game and the reset all data within the same circle. That seems like a one click of the button, one misclick of the of the button, and you've lost all your save data. <laughs> Put that on a, on a different page. Put the reset all data far away from where you're actually trying to save your data, because uh, accidents happen. Next thing is the game does this a lot. Boom! Everything's gone, and it's flipped you around. It's closed all the menus, and you're facing the other direction. The second uh, you try and turn around or anything, it, uh, it teleports you in the opposite direction. As you can see, I've been teleported all the way across. Now, I know there is a teleport button, but uh, it just glitched out and made me turn around for no reason there. I feel when opening the menu like this, you shouldn't have to step back to see it all. The menu should open up in front of you so you can see the left screen, middle screen and the right screen all at the same time, or the, the options at least. And uh, you shouldn't have to step back when uh, viewing your inventory. I feel as well the incredible lack of detail in the environments. This makes me think this is a PS1 upgraded game for the PSVR 2 and uh, very little has been done to create an interesting environment. And if you look at the background now, everything moves just like a PS1 game. Um, the menu, fine, that's fine, but um, here you can talk to this guy, and then bang, it spins me around for no reason. I didn't quick turn, I didn't do anything like that, it just spins me around. And having the moving environments in the background is very, uh, uh, pulls you out of your immersion quite quite quickly. Just another example of the menu, you have to pull the menu out, and then whoop, you have to pull back to actually see the whole menu. So once again, having this, these menu options uh, visible, just by pushing the menu screen, and not having to step backwards, is definitely something that needs to happen. Also feel if you point at an object, you should be able to pick it up without bending. Not that I have a problem with that, but look at the background environment now. Did you see how that glitched out? That was that's just unacceptable. If you're paying for a PS5 game and I saw that, I would stop the game immediately. It's like how could that have not been fixed already? It's uh it's terrible. It, again, it just pulls you out of the environment and uh, this as well. You're going underwater. There's no sound effects of you going into the water or there's no difference of you being underwater. And again, it's pulled me out. No difference of being underwater or out of the water. And as, again, as you can see, it's just glitching on me when I'm just trying to walk through it. At least have some water sounds or something happening there. Um, that's, uh, that was just very unfortunate. I thought maybe fishing would uh, pull me out of this, but uh, nothing, nothing at all. Back here, you have your, your paddocks, if you will. Now, I do like this kind of thing, but the second I try to put a chicken inside, it's just, it's all blocky and he doesn't move. He just kind of sits in the air there and uh, doesn't do anything. So he's telling me he wants to eat, but he's also doesn't tell me that he can fly. And chickens can glide, they can't fly. So he was kind of, uh, as you can see there again, the screen flipped me around. There's just there's just too many bugs for this game to get released. I feel you're going to have so many refund requests, it's, it's going to be overwhelming. So everything I've shown you here, guys, is more than enough for me uh, to put it down and just, just give my two cents here and say that again, you're releasing this game in this state is a uh, not a good idea you're gonna have a lot of upset people and uh, a lot of work needs to be done and i think some of it is going to be a bit more than just needing work you need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to environments and the loading this is a ps5 system there shouldn't be any jumping shouldn't be any skipping and uh yeah that's my two cents so once again i'm not going to post this to youtube uh it's a bit unfair it's a bit brutal but uh, this is my two cents and if you have any questions for me on this guys then just let me know i'm always going to reply